Let's talk about your willpower or your lack of it. And no matter how hard you try to quit watching adult movies, you simply can't, you keep relapsing. Your nofap streak always magically comes down to zero. Today I wanted to discuss this little book, The Easy Peasy Method, and how it tackles the relentless brainwashing that keeps you hooked on your favorite adult movies websites. This book came into Moreda after I heard a couple of people talking about it on Twitter. So I had to check it out for myself. What I found quite unique about the book is that I didn't try to scare you into quitting porn, but to reveal the brainwashing around the subject and help you to make that decision for yourself. And it goes on to talk about how nowadays the porn is used in everything, whether it's advertising, entertainment, and even education, making you believe that adds value and provides some sort of stress relief from any problems you have in your life. Looking at it from a business perspective, this is a pretty smart, pretty big brain move. It weaponizes your biological desires against you. And this has done such a subtle way that makes it normal. The book aims to confront this BS hidden in plain sight, showing that adult movies don't actually solve any of your problems. Like many addictive substances, porn is a hyperstimulus, which humans are not supposed to achieve by nature. Getting to see whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, at just a click of a button. So you programmed your brain to expect porn whenever you're stressed, ashamed, guilty, or just bored. The hormone behind this anticipation of stress relief is dopamine. The main issue here is over time, your brain releases less and less doping to the same stimuli. So to chase the high and maintain the same level of novelty, you chase more extreme content. If you self are porn user, which majority of guys are, come on, let's be honest, um, compare what you watch today versus what you started with. It's like a never ending cycle of needing more and more stimulation, which could seriously mess up your life long term and making a whole life seem very gray and meaningless and dull. The only moment of relief or just a tiny bit of satisfaction is when you do satisfy this urge by watching your favorite adult movies. So this book talks about concepts of a little monster and a big monster. So the little monster is responsible for the dopamine cravings we just spoke about. And secondly, there's this big monster. This is all the societal brainwashing, all these misleading thoughts and justifications we tell ourselves for watching porn. It's a stress relief, it sparks creativity, or it cleans it cleans the pipes. This book does a really good job at reassuring that the little monster is actually very easy to handle. Then it shows us how to tackle and get rid of this big monster as well, which, um, I feel like sets the book apart from many others. Other resources like NoFap primarily rely on willpower to tackle the little monster, which is all the cravings. And the thing about all these cravings, they will naturally just go away by themselves after you reset your dopamine levels. Sure, this could work for some, but it doesn't actually tackle the big monster, which is all the brainwashing. This is why NoFap often falls short in the long run. So easy peasy is kind of like a selling point that it tries to hit the reset button on your belief system. The dopamine driven desire to look at porn is itself triggered by the stress of not looking at porn. Okay, let's illustrate this a bit better. So watching porn is like wearing tight shoes simply for the pleasure of just taking them off. If you're feeling the need for a reward, consider substituting it by wearing a pair of tight shoes. Let's say wearing those climbing shoes which are like a couple of sizes too small for you or another way you can kind of do this is by wearing underwear which is a few sizes too small for you. You can do this while you're working but only allow yourself to remove the tight shoes or the underwear only during the breaks. This moment of relaxation and satisfaction is the sensation of indulging in adult movies. This sounds a little bit stupid and if you were to do this thing, you might feel a bit stupid yourself. Obviously because it is a bit stupid, but it may seem irrational now. Addiction often blinds us to its true nature. So any pleasure we get is simply relieving the pain porn caused in the first place. Let's give another example. It's like a junkie inserting a needle into the veins full of um, some junk. <laughs> I don't actually know what I can or can't say on YouTube because I might get demonetized. Well, I've made no money on YouTube, so it doesn't really matter if I get demonetized or not. But like, you know, I'm trying to keep a good record on YouTube, you know, so I'm not trying to say any like triggering words. So it's like a junkie, a few seconds after they um, initiated this high. They become really happy and become satisfied and relieved. But people who are not addicted to crack don't need it to be happy. It's the same as porn. A non-porn user doesn't feel saddened or stressed 
when they don't watch porn, don't feel the terrible nagging of the little monster. Ultimately, there's nothing pleasurable about porn. It tricks us into being hungry for it. It exploits the natural, the biological, the evolutionary systems within our brain and makes us sad as a result. The only reason people watch porn is to end the, this empty sensation, this void the previous session has caused. It is the thing that making you feel uncomfortable and that you need relaxation. Okay, this was my best way of trying to explain it on very little sleep, so, but whatever I said, I didn't really do justice. So, I recommend if this is something you're kind of struggling with or just curious about it, I reckon you should just go on Spotify and just listen to it and check it out. It's also available online for free, so you can do that. But if you know a bit more about dopamine and how the modern world has weaponized it, you should check out this video right here about my review of the book called Dopamination. It talks all about it. So yeah, watch it. <laughs>